Hey gang, welcome back everybody. We are getting a jump start on the weekend. It's Friday and uh, I've been over here running the skid steer for the last half hour, but I'm getting the, uh, the last gravel pile spread so that I can bring the tractor and the box blade over and uh, yeah, so that's my plan. Um, I just got done running it. And uh, this weekend, we are going to bring in a, uh, a ton. Well, probably closer to 50 tons. 50 tons. Maybe 30 tons. We'll see how much I can run in a weekend. But of uh, topsoil. Really what it is, is it's... Uh, just ran into a spider web. It is uh, cow manure. One of our, one of Katie's aunts uh, just got out of the cattle business. Um, they had uh, meat cows for a long time, but uh, anyways, they've sold everything. But they have been they feed every winter out of their barn, like most farmers do. And then in the springtime, they just clean out the barn. Well, nobody has been taking their good. Uh, fertilizer as I call it their manure um, so they've got stacks and stacks and stacks of it that they want cleaned up so um, we are more than happy to take it because all that we have out here is clay which there's a lot of ways you can amend the soil but if I can bring in a good you know six eight inches of topsoil where our gardens and trees and stuff are gonna go we'll be able to dig holes and amend with with a mixture of that manure and other amendments um, just to uh, give all of our stuff a little better start. But anyways, this is the driveway area. The last pile is right here. I finished the uh, French drain that goes across the driveway there and backfilled that just with uh, four to six to eight inch rock and uh, creek gravel on top of it. And then uh, we're actually gonna dig a second ditch further down that just goes across and it's just gonna be a dip that you drive through when you're uh, coming down there as a backup for the first ditch in case we ever get a torrent of rain. But this is all super rough right here. So I need to uh, grade it and uh, I can do it with the skid steer, but it takes an awful long time. The best way to do it is with the tractor and the box blade. So I'm gonna head back to my dad's and uh, get his truck and trailer, load that bad boy up, and come over here and grade this all out. Tomorrow, I'm running dump truck. I gotta take my skid steer over to our aunt's house. It's sitting right here in the shade. And uh, I'll trailer it over there, drop it off, come back, get the dump truck, take it over there, load it up, run the dump truck back and forth as many times as I can in a day. So, hope you guys uh, had a good weekend because you're probably watching this on Monday or Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Ooh, all right. It is late. It's about 7.30, 8 o'clock. Sun's going down. But I have box bladed everything from our driveway to the pad behind me, even over where we're putting the greenhouse over there. I've gone through and box bladed. It looks so good. So stinking good. But anyways, here's the driveway after I've box bladed it. You can see everything's pretty, pretty level. I've still got some big guys to go through and pick out of there just so we're not running over those boulders. But it is the end of the day and I'm pooped. So worked all day and then came over here and did this. So I am going to head back to the house and enjoy a little bit of time with Katie and the kids. Tomorrow, we're taking the Bobcat and the dump truck, my dad's dump truck, Grandpa Benny, and, uh, well, Grandpa's dump truck, and uh, we're gonna run back and forth between our uh, aunt and uncle's house getting all of the uh, manure slash topsoil so that'll cover this area down here where we're going to have summer gardens just outdoor gardens 
and then we're gonna dump a mountain of it over there where the greenhouse is going. Number one, to level that up, and number two, just so we have some good, rich soil under there. We've got like eight or nine loads that we've been able to run today. It takes time. Loading isn't the issue, but driving between their farm and our new property is what's taken. And then, of course, driving back, but that's what's taken the most time right now. But anyways, you can smell it. Good old manure mixed with a whole lot of green vegetation and dirt. So I am headed to the creek to cool off though. Gonna go meet Katie and the kids down there, do a little swimming around and uh, let the heat of the day pass me by and then probably run three or four more loads this evening. Just see how much I get done. But the idea is to bring this over and let it continue to compost and then here in a week or so I'll uh, go through and turn it all over and let it compost some more and then uh, might take the rototiller that hooks onto the back of the tractor and uh, turn it over you know chop everything up a little finer I don't like to till things though because you kill any and all bugs that are in there um, re really messes with that ecosystem. So, but uh, there's an awful lot of big, big clumps of it. So, anyways, that's the uh, the midway update. I mean, the day's almost done. It's uh, 4:30 right now. So, we'll see how much more I get done today. But, anyways, I imagine that if you don't see any more of me today, that uh, you will be seeing us tomorrow. Hey guys, so the uh, manure has been delivered. Um, we've run, we ran 10 loads out back here. That's where the greenhouse is going. It's gonna sit for a little while. Um, I'm gonna spread it out and keep kind of turning it over and around so that it can digest a little bit um, but that's where the greenhouse is going on down there and we have gone through and chalked out our footings for our shop so the shop building is going to be 40 foot by 40 foot um, so yeah the, in the future we're going to keep part of this bedroom right now we're going to make this whole side over here the kids bedroom so that they can be comfy um, we're doing a kitchen here, which will stay long term. That's going to be Katie's um, Bare Roots kitchen. It's where she can leave all of her stuff for making soaps and salves set up full time. Because right now, she has to put everything away on the shelf, take everything off. It's it's a lot of work for her. Um, but anyway, so the kitchen's going to stay here long term. We're going to put a bathroom in over there in the corner. And then everything on the front 24, 28 foot is all going to be... Um, barn slash garage slash storage um, for all of our gardening stuff but in the meantime we're gonna leave the first I think uh, 16 feet for storage um, that's where our cisterns are gonna go they're above ground cisterns um, we'll have a water tank in each corner they're roughly eight foot by eight foot round 
um, and they will be fed off the gutters off of each side. We'll have gutters on each side that one feeds each tank and then they'll equalize uh, through the water line that goes between them so the level of them will stay pretty consistent. And then in the future, um, the water line's gonna come out and go down to where the house is, kind of back there in the corner. I don't know if you can see it, but the house will be down there, downhill. And then it's also gonna run over to where the greenhouse is going so everything can be on irrigation. No bucket watering for us. We've done that in the past. And the secret to having a good, successful garden is having good irrigation. Um, but anyways, yeah, we, uh, we've got everything chalked out. Looks like that's kind of the end of this weekend. We're gonna head back and work in the garden and take care of all the animals, move the fence for the chickens. Once the fo footings are dug, I'll need to dig our water lines that are running underneath um, and conduits for the solar, for electric. Um, and then we are doing no air conditioning. What we are doing is a, uh, uh, a take on uh, late 1800s um, air cooling. And it's a uh, ventilation system that's self-contained, but it's, uh, there'll be um, two three inch lines that run up a wall. One will come out near the floor. One will come up at the ceiling. The hot air will push the air into the pipe at the ceiling. It'll go down underground. It'll go 100 feet out, 100 feet back in. By the time it comes back, it's been uh, rushing against that 54 degree earth, which will then cool the air and come back out the bottom. The idea is that it has a constant circulation. Um, the secret to making all of that work is apparently having um, an airtight house. So that's kind of important for us during construction to make sure that everything is airtight. Um, but that's, that's our uh, take on off-grid air conditioning for now. We are installing solar, so in the future we might put in a mini split. We'll see how the uh, air cooling system goes. But basically there's one for each room. There's even one in the shop that I'm going to put, one of those loops. So there's one for the kids' room, uh, one for the main room, one for our bedroom, and one for the shop. And then uh, we just plan on having... Um, good windows, some skylights that we can open to let the hot air out uh, during the day. Um, I'll probably put in an attic fan that I'll hook up to a 12 volt system uh, with our solar. But uh, anyways, that's kind of the, uh, the plan with this. So, okay, so brief animal update. Moonlight and all of our chickens are doing good. The bunnies are doing good. Silkies are doing good. Um, we kind of show you guys those all the time, but these are our newest addition to the flock. So these are officially our first batch of home hatched uh, meat birds. So these are wine dots. Um, but the father is Moonlight, our Bielfelder um, rooster. So he's had one, one offspring so far, and that was Starlight that you've seen down there. Um, but we have kept him because he was the fastest growing when we got our first batch of chicks. And uh, we were really happy with our wine dots too that we had ordered from... Uh, the hatchery. So these are our first batch of homegrown meat birds. There's 20 in here and uh, we will be we will be putting these out in uh, our broiler tractor and feed them out and we will uh, see how they do come 12, 14 weeks. Uh, anyways, hope you guys uh, had a beautiful weekend and uh, enjoyed the video. And God bless you guys. Until next time.